Hi everybody, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas and we welcome you to a sold out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City. Flush right hand to the head. Cross three punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. And now he's targeting upstairs. What's the best punch for a tall puncher against a shorter puncher? Well, it's got to be the jab because the jab is the measuring stick. It makes sure that the taller man keeps that advantage. Make sure that the shorter man stays where he belongs. Oh, his opponent scores, but now a good punch there by Kobe Nichols. Isaac Frost isn't a one punch at a time kind of guy. He will throw combinations like that. Isaac Frost hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Good combination by Isaac Frost right there. The jab and then the straight hand. Frost got a way of just getting away from that punch. 
Very well done by both men to fire off those right hands. What a demolishing hook by Kobe Nichols. Cross putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Nichols is putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. There's the combo to the body. Isaac Frost getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Isaac Frost knows how to do everything in the ring, but throwing a right hand like that, that's one of his specialties. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A nice block by Nichols. Little head knocking with that right hand. Halfway through round number two. Nichols is able to land a nice clean left hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Isaac Frost putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And he returns on that exchange. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Digs into the body again. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Joe, this is about wit, wit, spit. This is about fighting. Isaac Frost's right hand scores well that time. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner and we get a close-up look, Nichols' is cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude, as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Scores up top with a left. Nichols is tagged by a hook. Big Isaac Frost lands the hook that time. Frost is so dangerous with punches like that. Isaac Frost so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. He's targeting downstairs time and time again. Isaac Frost's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Up top with the quick hook. A good headshot landed by Isaac Frost. Great work by the big man. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Nichols is feeling the effects now of that hook. And that's the end of round three. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Frost in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. Uh, he has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him.
Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you. Go back. Big, big shot from crashing home. That combination puts him down. One, two, three, four, five. Nichols is rising back up. That takes some guts. Frost doing well here with that two-punch combination. Not an accurate hook at all. Short well upstairs with the right hand. Oh, he took a oh, shot. Now he gives oh, a left. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Look at that. This is going to take. is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you gotta do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't wanna go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Nichols' corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. just surviving but if he survives then he better figure out why he was put on the floor Isaac Frost last round a big one he scored the knockdown do you think he's now got the momentum where he can end this fight well right now I think he has the confidence where he thinks he can end the fight and that's where it starts it starts with anything any people out there doing anything it starts with Thinking, believing, you can do it. The big burly heavyweight, Isaac Cross, with a sharp left hand. Not much action as he just ties up. That's a flush shot, faking away those body shots with the left hand. And now you see him scoring well with the right. at it, so he might figure it out. One, two, three, four, five. And it's all over. Nichols is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way of knockouts, your winner, Isaac Frost, fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.
Thank <laughs> you. 